Today I'm going to try to attempt to make pita bread, or pita pocket bread, the way some places call it here, using a cast iron Dutch oven. And uh, this is my first attempt, and hopefully it works. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm hoping it was warming up just so that the lid and everything else gets to some sort of a high temperature. But right now it's at 380 and I'm looking for it to be at about 500 to 600 and I, I wonder if it could get to that temperature. Now if this doesn't work I have the oven going and uh, right now it's at 430 degrees. So we're going to wait a little. I don't know if you can tell. Right now it's at 490 and climbing. Okay, this is, this is at 600 degrees now, so I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the pita breads, those, and see how it performs. I'm going to open it in about 30 seconds. Too hot. We're going to lower the temperature. And I'm going to check on it in about 30 seconds. Going up. And raise the temperature a little. Okay. Let me check on it again. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can tell, but it's going up. And I'm going to the problem is I think it's too hot on the bottom and not hot enough. Um, on the other side. There we go, a full-blown pita. Now I'm going to turn it over. Let's see uh, what temperature we got here. Yep, 520. All right, this means that uh, I'm going to bring that one out because it is ready. And look at that. Huh? 
this was done with the other. Okay, so I'm not letting this uh, failed experiment um, uh, break me down. I'm going to try something else. So, um, so basically, these were, I tried to make them on the uh, Dutch oven over the stove and this nice fluffy pita. Let me open the pita. This nice fluffy pita was, uh, was, um, it was done in the, uh, in the oven over a upside down, uh, uh, cast iron skillet. So it works well on a cast iron skillet. Anyway, very nice pita. But again, I'm not going to let this, um, bad experience with the uh, Dutch oven um, pre prevent me from uh, from trying something else. So, luckily, I didn't do the entire batch of dough. So, I'm going to open it right now. Open it right now. And we will make some more pitas. And by God, I will find a way to um, to make pitas on the stove. All right. We'll be back in about uh, 30 to um, 40 minutes. 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, and we're back. Um, I let this thing rise. And um, what we're going to do is um, we're going to go and put it on uh, one of those uh, iron skillets. We'll see what happens. This time, though, I'm uh, putting it in um, in a iron skillet, not a Dutch oven, and I'm going to cover it. Now, in theory, I'm thinking I I think that the uh, Dutch oven just uh, did not have enough hot air above the pita, so uh, hopefully the the smaller capacity of the uh, cast iron skillet will help uh, with the um, circulating the uh, hot air all around. All right, so uh, let, let me uh, let me take this uh, to the um, stove and we'll see uh, how it goes. Okay, so we have the cast iron skillet and uh, I'm gonna turn the heat up. And I'm thinking medium high. I'm gonna put the cover on because we want it to get hot too. And uh, we'll wait. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's give it a try. Got a little teeny one here. And we're just gonna pop it in. And I'm gonna check what the status is on this thing. This is the first attempt, and you know what? We may have a pita here. It 
didn't bubble all the way, but with a little bit of tweaking, I think we can make a pita. Okay, I'll bring another one. Okay, I'm going to flip it over as soon as I bring it, bring the, the top on. Off. This is definitely doing better than the other one, but we're not we're not getting a complete rise. Still, um, this this would turn out to be a nice pita flatbread. So if you want to make pita flatbreads at home and you don't want to start the oven and all that stuff, you can do it on your skillet. I'm going to give it another try. Okay. One minute. So far it's been 30 seconds. Oh, I'm so tempted of opening it. I'm going to give it 40 seconds, not, not one full minute. Whoa. Okay. I think we got it then. Um, 30 seconds and we would have been good. Look at this. We actually have a pita. Okay. Okay, so this time I'm going to give it 30 seconds. In fact, maybe I'm going to give it less. 25 seconds. And I'm going to flip it. Hey, this is not bad. A little scorched, but uh, it turned out to be a nice pita. Okay. I think really the secret is that you got to get the entire thing to act as an oven. So, um, 2 watt is not good, but it's a, it's a real delicate balance. So that's why I'm like, I'm opening it. And throwing it right in. Okay, I'm gonna open it in one, two, three. You want to keep as much as uh, possible the heat inside. This is really not bad. Really not bad. Okay, I'm gonna make the last one. And you know what? This time, I'm gonna wet the bottom of the, uh, okay. So I wetted the bottom of the pita, and I'm gonna throw it in now. Let's see. Oh, this one did not go well. But you know, this experiment was interesting. Ah. Uh, it is possible to make pitas on the skillet. The only problem is it's a very delicate balance of um, temperature, patience, getting it right, and out of uh, 
We got, out of all of them, we got one, two, three, four, five. I would say this one is edible. You know, you cut it, you can, you can use it with uh, hummus. It's not a pita pocket, but uh, it's, it is edible. This one turned out to be a pita pocket. And it is edible, and I think it's probably yummy too. This one, actually, this one turned out pretty, pretty nice. Open it up. You got a pita pocket. So, this one's good. This one was good too. Perfectly shaped pita pocket. And even though it's a little scorched, uh, that actually adds some flavor to it. I mean, uh, it, it won't taste bad. This one was the bad attempt where I uh, tried to put some uh, moisture on the bottom. I think next time I'm going to try to uh, have the dry area on the bottom and the moisture on the top. This way it seals it. But we'll see. But this one's edible too. And um, what was this one? I think this was the first attempt. And um, it didn't turn out to be too pockety, but again, it's uh, it's good bread. You can uh, you can definitely uh, use it with a dip. I uh, use a uh, hummus with it, and it works. Okay, so um, I would call this experiment a success. All right, well, please thumb up and subscribe, and I will uh, catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time. Bye. Okay, so I let it rest a little, but now I'm going to um, separate it to... Uh, uh, Small balls. Balls. This is the uh, pita pitas where uh, before they're getting on the uh, skillet. So hopefully uh, we're gonna see some rising going up here. I have a lot of faith in you, little buddy. There. Okay.